Hi everybody, this is Corey with Aspen Grove Studios, and today I'm going to give you a uh, really quick overview of the author's page template uh, for Extra from Elegant Themes. And uh, you can see here uh, that this page is uh, uh, really nicely set up. Um, it has a uh, company or uh, you know ma a magazine bio spot up top here, and down below there are uh, individual bios for each author. It's got a picture, their name. Uh, some information about them. Uh, there's also a, a post counter. So all, all posts that are contributed to this particular author will show underneath here. You can uh, click on that and view uh, all of the posts uh, from that author. And there's also some links to their uh, social media down below. So uh, let's jump over to our, to our demo site and uh, I'm going to show you a couple of things on, on how to get this set up. So the, uh, the first step you want to take is setting up your, uh, your user account um, in WordPress. And uh, this, this is created uh, when you, um, you know, sign up for a new WordPress site or you add a new uh, user. Um, they will have their, um, their per personal options dashboard back here. Um, so you can access this either under users, your profile, um, also, when you're logged in, uh, you can up, up here in the right-hand corner go to Edit My Profile, and uh, and then that'll bring up uh, this page here. So uh, a lot of these options are standard uh, to WordPress. Um, here uh, you can see first name, last name, nickname, and then you can choose how your name is displayed publicly. Uh, then there's the email. Um, this is important uh, not only because that's um, that's connected to your WordPress account in case you, you lose your password. Um, also, uh, for this particular use, it's important because uh, that's how your, um, your profile picture is populated. So whatever email address you have um, set up on gravatar.com, um, you want to enter that, that email address here on, um, on, on your WordPress website. And then that way your picture from gravatar.com will show up under your author bio under your post um, and, and also on the, um, on the on the page here. So um, so once you have that set up, uh, you can enter in uh, your different social media accounts, whichever ones you choose to uh, to put on here. Uh, just put the put the individual links uh, in these locations here. Okay, now um, a couple of things here that are that are unique um, to Extra. Uh, one is uh, the about uh, about the user, and it's got uh, the color picker here. So you can choose uh, which um, which color uh, is going to represent your your bio. So you can see here on the front end that we all have uh, unique colors above our profile, and those are all selected uh, here in the back end. So pick your color, set it, and and that's gonna that's gonna show up on the front end. Um, then you enter in your uh, your biographical information. That's also what shows up under your um, under your picture and your name here. Okay, so once uh, once that's all set up, you can hit uh, update, and then we're going to go over and show you how the uh, the author's page uh, itself is actually set up. So let's take a look here on the back end. Okay, so here, um, here we have our page, and um, you can see down here that we have some, uh, some options for the author's page template. And when you create a page, you want to make sure that um, over here under page attributes, you select authors. And once you do that, the section down here will appear. So let's go back to default real quick. You can see that disappeared. Go back to authors. And here we have these, uh, these options down here. You can choose to either um, select all of your authors or just a chosen few. And then um, after that, uh, you can set your uh, your sidebar location. Uh, if, if you want a full width look like we have um, set up on our, on our demo and to look like um, Elegant Themes has it here, then you want to select uh, no sidebar. Other than that, you have left and right. You also have an option to hide um, title and meta on post. Okay, and then after that, uh, you're basically just going to start building uh, whatever other content you want on the site here. You can see I just have a text module with some filler text, and that is what is, uh, is showing up on the front end right here. So 
you, you can get a little bit, uh, you know, you can get more creative with this top section here, but just keep in mind, whatever content you add to your site, um, it's going to show up above your, uh, above your user profiles in this little box here. Okay, so, so once you're all done, you can uh, publish that page and, uh, and take a look on the front end. So here we have our uh, really nice looking uh, authors page, uh, like, like the uh, extra theme demo. So if you have any questions uh, on this template, please feel free to email us at support at aspengrovestudios.com. And uh, also you can just leave a comment uh, down below here. So we hope that you enjoyed this and it helped you out and we'll talk to you soon.